Well, Terry, two weeks with a new manager. Inevitably, if a, if a new boss comes into any job, people tend to sort of raise their level. Has, has that caused a raise of level here? Yeah, it has, yeah. The, um, you know, every manager's different, and that's what we expect, with different ideas and a different approach. And it gives everyone, a, at the start, it gives everyone a fresh start and clean slate and training, um, everyone working hard and training and and everyone, you know, up for putting their, their name out there and showing the manager what he can do, yeah. Double sessions? It has been double sessions, yeah. As I say, new managers have different approaches and we've um, we've done a few double sessions, but they've been good and we've had some good days and we've had a full week with um, the gaffer and Robbo this week, so it's been good, yeah. What's been their sort of collective message now that Rob is in as well in terms of what they're trying to get you to do? Well, we want to win games. That's what they said. They want us to win games, and that's what they're saying. And then, and everything's about it's about winning games and getting back on a good run and getting the results the way we want and going up the table. So you know, everything's based on on winning games, yeah. But a different, a, a different style, a different method to do that. Everyone has, everyone's got different styles and different methods, and and um, the Gaffer and Robbo have got, I've got theirs as well. Um, but at the minute, you know, everything's about working hard and, and as I say, leading towards winning games. What's been the kind of the the fallout from Dover? Because I imagine that everybody felt pretty hurt on Sunday night when you drove away from the ground. Yeah, Saturday was disappointing for everyone. You know, it was disappointing and. Um, it's been, it was a long couple of days after it, but you know we've got time to put that to bed now and look forward to Saturday. Saturday's a big game for us and, and one which we, we want three points really, yeah. Mansfield last season, you knew what you were going to get, didn't you? It was a very, very sort of in-your-face, aggressive, almost abrasive kind of kind of side, but they've changed their manager too. They're in a similar position, yeah. They've changed the manager and, and I'm sure that they'll change their style of play and, and the way they're going about games, so you know, I'm sure the gaffer and the um, and Robo will watch them and know everything about them, know every detail, and they'll be passing that on to us for Saturday, giving us every chance. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? That that, that Swindon game is barely a month ago, but it, it seems a long time given how much has happened in, in, in the meanwhile. Yeah, well, that's football, you know, that's football, that's how quick things can change, and we could be looking. We could be sitting here now, looking back on on Saturday, thinking that's a distant memory. You know, if we go on a couple of good good wins and look back and think, you know, how long how long ago does that feel? And that's just football. That's how things can change. You don't know what's around the corner, and, and that's why we're working hard for it to change in our favour. Uh, Paul said that, in effect, because the transfer window opens, everybody, as you say, has a clean slate. But equally, there's an element of, of trial because. When the window opens, he's got the opportunity maybe to to to, to, to freshen things up. Do you think that 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 you as players feel that right? You know, I, I really have to prove my point that I want to that I am going to be in the manager's plans here. That's what you've got to do, yeah. That's that's what you've got to do. And again, that's football. Transfer window comes twice a year, and as players, you know what what that can come. Players are coming in. Players are going to go out. You know, you, you can't think too much about it, to be honest. Me, personally, I just work hard every day and, and you know, hopefully that it, it goes well for you. And that's all you can do. Football's a strange game, things can happen. And if you work hard every day and nine times out of ten, you know, it goes well for you. So that's what you've got to do. And just lastly for me, in terms of confidence, which is the thing that everybody talks about in football so much, if you've got it, it's hard, it's, it's hard to but sometimes understand where it's come from. If you haven't got it, it's difficult to find it. How can Cheltenham become a more confident team, bearing in mind what's happened and, and where you're trying to get to? It, it comes from winning games. That's where it comes from. And if it means us having to drag a couple of wins out, scrappy wins, whatever, then I'll take that. You know, if we go on a run and win a couple of games, then that's when the confidence comes. Breeds throughout the team, throughout the club. and. If we win a couple of games, that's where we'll get it from. So that's why we need to be working hard on the training ground and to get them first three points, and then you know that's where it'll slowly come back. You've got to try and 
try and find a, a base to work from, I suppose, is what you're saying, isn't it? Of course, yeah. You know, we've got to find a base and the gaffer and, and Robbo have done that with us on the team ground every day. And um, I think it'll, it'll stand us in good stead and once we get the, the first win, and it'll just, it's like a snowball effect. You win games and it breeds confidence throughout the team. Great, thanks Terry. Terry, the result was obviously disappointing on Sunday, but was the was the fans' reaction after the final whistle? Did that hurt you? Yeah, you're conscious of that, yeah, but you just got to get on with it. That's football again, and you know the fans um, they pay a lot of money and to come to games and travel to to away games, so they're entitled to the opinion, and you know we just got to get on with it. And it doesn't doesn't add to the fact how disappointed we was. It doesn't make us more disappointed. It just we were, we were disappointed with, with the game and, um, and so were they, so we just got to get on with it.